Previously on Phoenix Incorporated. Let him go. He has nothing to do with this. Should we move in? Let's go. Keep it quiet. No one can help you now. Wanna bet? Ready to trust me now? Come on, come with me. What's the only way that these people would stop looking for you? They won't stop until they know I'm dead. Exactly. Fake my death? I came to see that justice was carried out. And Idris and his son are nowhere to be found. I saw the license plate of the car. I need you to find someone more. The people I work with, you've seen how ruthless and dangerous they can be, but no idea how sinister. Yeah, we get that, but who are they? They call themselves Harbingers. Messengers of death to anyone who knows them. Dominic is calling. Hello? Zaid? Zaid, what's going on? Are you okay? I don't know who you're with, Idris. But involving them was a mistake. I understand why you did it. I even admire you a little for attempting to rescue your son. But you must have known no one could help you. Please, please, I'll do anything you want, just let him go. I wanted an honorable soldier to carry out this mission. Still, I am benevolent and forgiving. The governor is expected to announce a campaign for re-election in 36 hours at the Grand Altivo Hotel downtown. If the bomb detonates there, all debts are paid. I'll do whatever you want. Just, please, don't hurt him. I'm a man of my word. If you complete this mission, your son will be granted all of the rights and privileges due him. It'll be done. And what about my people? This must be the man in charge of helping Idris. Listed in the phone as Dude Boss Man. Your people have been spared. I believe in your eyes you thought you were embarking on some kind of noble crusade. Your people have been pardoned once. If they cross my path again, I will allow my men retribution for the slights against them. Idris, we're taking your son until you complete the mission. Farewell. Let's go. Yeah, really not a good day for the team. Okay. First of all, what in the ever-loving... I'll catch you up to speed in a minute. Idris, who is that? That's our leader. He's known as the penultimate. Doesn't that mean second to last? We believe that he who leads must also serve. So, the highest is really the lowest. God is the greatest of all servants, and the penultimate is only second to him. We'll talk about that in a minute. First, detective. I assume you have a reason for your visit? I gotta get going quick. I just came to stop by to tell you and Idris here to keep a low profile. My partner's looking for him. Why? Let's see if this sounds familiar. Armed gunmen at a private residence in broad daylight? I gotta get going. Gabe has probably canvassed half the block by now. Just keep your heads down. Well, that was some shortcut, Twitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. By the time I got there, you were already gone. <laughs> no, it's fine. No one saw anything useful. No one is even home except the little old lady who made the call. Well, what do you make of it? I don't know. I, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that I'm being paranoid. That Matt's death is making me crazy. But I, I swear, that Idris guy, 
He was strapped when we saw him this morning. I, I keep telling myself that he wasn't, but he was. With a bomb? He looked like he just had a bad number four at the Rice King. He looked fishy. And now we get a report that the same guy has a, a house full of armed men with shots fired. Something's wrong. I'm fine. Okay. We did everything we could. They caught us completely by surprise. I knew this would happen. I tried to spare you all. We can figure this out. 36 hours is plenty of time for us We've to We've tried it your way. They're going to kill him. And if he dies... I have to go through with it. So you've given up. But you're still here. What do you mean? Well, if you're just going to give up and detonate the bomb, then... We don't have anything to offer you. So why haven't you left? I still need your help. Just with a different kind of plan. I don't kill people, Idris. I save them. Then help me save my son. I'm sorry about your son. But that's not the way I do things. I'll be dead in 36 hours. I've accepted that. But without your help, so will Zaid. Please reconsider. Is there a specific number? I don't understand. Is there a specific number of casualties that you are required to achieve? No, nothing like that, but the event will be crowded. Press, supporters. And these people supplied the explosives? No, not exactly. They taught me how to build the bomb. And they just trusted you? Of course they trusted me. They hold all the cards. Why wouldn't they? Why? What are you thinking? If we switch out the explosives... I told you I have to go through with this. Calm down. What I was going to say is that if we just switch out the explosives for something less powerful, we can both win here. Now the goal here is very simple. No casualties. There will be one casualty. No unnecessary casualties. Now, I don't have any plans for a scenario like this, but I have some ideas. This is the floor plan of the conference room where the meeting is to take place. This is the conference room of the Hotel Gran Altivo downtown. Now Idris's mission is to enter this room and detonate the explosive. How big of a blast radius are we talking here? Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. The Harbingers build their own explosives. They told me that each brick is the equivalent of that of 2C4. The blast won't fill the room, but it is meant to send a message. What about security? I mean, I imagine it's going to be pretty tight. That's probably the worst news. Assignments have already been made down at the station. There's going to be two guards at every door and a heavy police presence. Are you going to be there, Detective? I'm homicide. It's not my job. I wish I could be more helpful. Sean, I want you to take explosives. Veronica and Dominic, I want you to take layout and security. I have some logistics I need to address. All right, I can hear the lecture coming. Let me have it. You guys are supposed to save people. And I support that. I really do. But I can't help you next time if this is the garbage that you're going to be pulling. I owe you my life. But this is risky. He's going to detonate that bomb with or without our help. If we don't help him, he's a loaded gun and can kill the entire room. I don't like it either. But if we help him, we can keep everyone in that room safe. I can't believe you pull me into this. Every time I fall for it. But I'll help you, however I can. There is one thing. Idris hasn't eaten for hours. He's not going to like it, but he needs to leave. Can you take him? He needs a friend right now. Yeah. I can do that. The clock is ticking. We have lives to save. Let's get to work.
here it is. This is a favorite place of mine. I come here with my partner on rough days. Thank you. It's no problem. For everything. I know what you're risking in helping me. People have risked a lot for me. I just try to help. I think I've got it. No, I've got it. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes. Yes. What? Really? Well, just trying here. to steal my, my idea. Thunder. All right, all right. She, that's enough. She, that's okay, well, that's enough. Just... Sean, what have you got? The wiring on the vest, it's really shoddy work. I mean, it would get the job done, but I could imagine a situation where not all of the charges go off properly. So what if we just make him look incompetent he could still get the job done. He'd get the message across, right? But that would work. And what's the blast radius? Well, I'd hate to guess, but if we were to remove some of the bricks, I think we could limit the radius to about 10 feet. There would be some danger involved, but I think we could completely eliminate civilian casualties. But delivery's still a problem. If they've got dogs on the entry, he's not getting anywhere near that room. And even if he did, he'd... <clears throat> still be too close to the people. <clears throat> this is why we should have started with me. Check it out. Okay, so these are the plans of the hotel, the ones that we've been currently looking at. I found out that they're slightly outdated. Here are the new plans with one tiny difference. There's a new doorway. Why? Well, it seems to me like they did it for the staff. This hallway goes to and from the kitchen, and this external door faces the staff parking. And look at this. This is how they're setting up the chairs for the conferences. There is a big gap between the front entrance and the front row of those chairs. That's our spot. It's risky, but if we can make sure the detonation happens right in that doorway and keep the edges of the room clear, this will work. If you set off the bomb right at this point, nobody will get hurt. It's a good plan. I want to save your son enough to do things I'm not comfortable doing. I need to ask you a question. I hesitate to do so, but I need to know. What will become of your son when this is over? It's perhaps the only good thing about all of this. In my honor, Zaid will be awarded more money than he could possibly need. Riches will be heaped upon him. So says the penultimate. You heard him promise that. Will he follow through? He won't break his promise. Then it's time we should be going. But it's early. Hours early still. We need to be there to prepare. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your patience. The governor has arrived and we will begin shortly. Didn't think you'd come. Glad you did. I didn't want to do this alone. You don't deserve to be alone. 
Is that the first signal? Not yet. The governor was delayed and is just now arriving. They'll be making the introductions in a moment. But before you go, there is something I wanted you to know. I think you're one of the bravest men I've ever known. I've done some searching on your name. The Judeo-Christian equivalent of Idris is a man named Enoch who was taken up into heaven by the hand of God. You deserve nothing less. That's the first signal. It's time you're getting into place. Remember the detonator is wireless this time. I owe you everything. Please, make sure my son's taken care of. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present a beacon of our community. Our governor has had an extraordinary term in office. Our economy is stronger. Our job market is one of the finest in the nation. And our state has seen positive growth in nearly every sector. And so, it's my pleasure to invite to the podium our friend, our leader, and Death to the oppressors! We are the harbingers! We are the... Do we know anything about this guy? All he said was is that he was the harbinger. Could be a group he was with, could just mean something ominous. We don't know yet. What about the body? We moved the body several hours ago. Why? Did you notice anything unusual about the body? Gabe, I know you're trying to be a good cop, but this case seems pretty open and closed. It has nothing to do with your brother. Well, as a matter of fact, there were a few things that were off. Forensic still has a lot to go through, but um, there were multiple explosives, more than would have been on his vest. It looks like he might have maybe accidentally ignited those before he set off his vest, like he was trying to maximize the explosion, but it didn't work out. There's not actually all that much damage. Something clearly went wrong. I guess if all he was trying to do was send a message, mission accomplished, but he was actually trying to hurt anyone, he did a terrible job. My sister's house? How did you... I died. In some ways, this may be the hardest job I've ever done. I had to convince you that it was really happening. Your detonator wasn't connected to anything. We wired the doorway with explosives and set the whole thing off right before you got into the blast range. Although, you did get close enough to receive a pretty nasty blow. We added a few smoke bombs to make the explosion seem bigger, but uh, it wasn't much. And we prepared a medical cadaver to take your place and moved in under that cover to make the switch. Even a top-notch forensic expert would be fooled. There really wasn't much of any use left on that body, and what there was would positively identify it as you. How long have I been out? My sister's house is nowhere close. You've been out for quite a while. They've already brought your son and left. They have no reason to come back. As far as the world's concerned, you're dead. Be smart and you'll be fine. Zaid is waiting. I, I can't. There are no words for what you've done for me. 
I meant what I said, Idris. You are the bravest man I've ever known. And you deserve to live in peace. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about the Idris case. Yeah, crazy stuff, huh? Listen, I don't want to seem insensitive. I'm so sorry about what happened to your brother. But we got to keep our heads on straight, you know? Anyway, I'm heading out. Don't work too hard. I'll see you tomorrow. Elijah, wait. The Harbingers. There's more coming. They'll be more like me. What's coming? Dark times. There's a storm brewing. Just help as many of my brothers as you can. Show them the way. Whatever happens, we'll be there to help. The results are conclusive. This is Idris. I'm not sure what else you're looking for, Detective. I don't know either. There's more to this than meets the eye. I want to see the full report on this as soon as possible. Sure thing. So, where's your partner tonight? He couldn't make it. I think it's time to begin phase two.